hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's video tutorial is about the Hall effect sensor a Hall effect sensor is a transducer that varies its output voltage in response to a magnetic field Hall effect sensors are used for proximity switching positioning speed detection and current sensing applications pinouts uh, this is uh, the, the type of the Hall effect sensor that I'll be using for this tutorial. A0 ground plus 5 volts and D0 which is a digital output. In this tutorial I will not be using the D0 pin of the sensor. I will be using only these three pins. The plus 5 volt, the ground and the A0. Because uh, this way I can control the sensitivity of the sensor by changing this uh, variable. So the use of A0 this is the best choice instead of using the D0. This tutorial will cover the following number one the basic working concept number two the hardware components which are needed the Arduino Uno or Mega the Hall effect sensor a permanent magnet some jumper wires and of course a computer for the programming and uploading the program and the software we will be using is the Arduino IDE which is the integrated development environment and the language we will be using is a C language number two then the wiring and number three of course in the programming and finally we will be testing the project so let's start from the number first first one the basic working concept I will show you this through an animation so let's start so this is how the uh, Hall effect sensor works two magnets are installed on a rotating object now the number of magnets can be increased or decreased so when the magnet uh, comes near the uh, Hall effect sensor it changes the magnetic field uh, so that's why you can see that uh, the LED is blinking the magnet comes near so that's how it works so these are the hardware components that we will need for this tutorial this is the holific sensor which has four pins a0 ground a plus five volts and uh, d0 as i told you earlier that uh, for this tutorial we'll be using only a0 ground and plus five volts because through a0 we can change the uh, sensitivity of the uh, holific sensor by using this variable resistor we can change the sensitivity and uh, now of course we also be needing uh, Arduino Uno and as you can see the wiring that I have connected the A0 the yellow wire with the analog A0 pin of the uh, uh, Arduino and the blue wire is connected with the ground and the red wire is connected with the 5 volt as you can see over here the red wire is connected with the plus 5 volts the blue wire is the ground wire and A0 is the signal wire which is connected with the analog pin A0 of the uh, Arduino you know we will also be needing a permanent magnet as you can see so we will be needing this and of course we also need a USB cable and a laptop for programming so that's it now let's start the programming and then after that we will be so now let's start the programming let's uh, define some pins integer Hall S is equal to A0. Hall S is Hall effect sensor connected with analog pin A0 of the Arduino. Integer LED is equal to 13 and wide setup. You know that each and every Arduino program has at least two functions, which are white setup and white loop. So these are the two functions. Let's activate serial communication. Serial dot begin 9600. And let's use the pin mode functions. Pin mode. Hall S. is input and pin mode LED is output so let's keep the LED and off state by default so digital 
right LED low now that the setup has completed now let's start writing the programming uh, let's define one variable integer integer data is equal to zero so data is equal to analog read hall s change this one is h hall s and serial dot print sensor data and serial dot print data first let's uh, check this one it now let's connect the Arduino and let's upload this first okay it's selected now press we are uploading the program let's use a delay delay 1000 and let's use a print ln for the new line and a semicolon and an upload and log let's check now it's giving us of uh, 514 or 515 513 which is in the range of 513 to 515 when there is no magnet now now you can see the the value has changed to 452 because now there is a magnet near the sensor 515 and when i take it apart from the sensor now you can see again it's back to 515 and when it's near it's 315 so now let's use f condition to turn on and uh, off if data is less than if data is less than for example 500 Turn on LED. Digital right LED high. Copy paste and if data is greater than five hundred, keep the LED low. and else delay 100 milliseconds and that's it so now you can see now the LED is on and now it's off on and off so that's it for now if you like my video subscribe to my channel share my video with your friends and thanks for watching